House on Pleasant Street channel here on YouTube. Uh, this is going to be part six of vaulting. Uh, this is going to be part six, and I'm going to make this the final part of vaulting the ceiling in my little sunroom. Uh, last time we left off, I had just finished painting. Uh, what I did is I came back and I had a bit of an issue up here. Whoever designed or filled in this porch at one time, <clears throat> this wall at this end was not flush with the header. And at the other end, they were perfectly flush. In fact, the header was a little bit more recessed this way. So what I ended up doing is uh, I boxed this out a little bit with some lumber. I'm just using all scrap lumber. I boxed this in and then I put a drywall corner around it. So I'm going to make a return here and this is about probably about a, an inch and a half, an inch and a quarter. And at the other end, it's like three quarters of an inch. So I don't know what they did. I wasn't tearing the porch down. I don't think anyone's going to know when you stand back here. You'll just see this come down. I'm either going to make this strip yellow like the wall, or I'm going to make it white, tied in with the ceiling. Uh, all around the ceiling, I've added the little uh, edging that I talked about. The edging is in all around. It's cocked in place and nailed. I have one coat of primer on it. I still have to come back and redo this white. Of course, I'm not done. And of course, when I did the white, I also swiped on the yellow. So I got to come back and touch up. Uh, where I'm at right now is I'm trimming out the windows. And uh, it's going fairly well. Uh, I ended up using or leaving the sill that I had. The sill had, uh, this was the original sill that they had put in. It was quite nice. There was a little bit of rot that I, I gouged out and filled back in with foam. That's all done. Uh, I trimmed the window out to make, uh, I guess what I'm saying is I, I like when trim is thick. So I came back and I added this detail down here. And then I mimicked that all the way around. So I've got it going here as well. On top. And all the way around. Between the two windows I came back and I took an old piece of paneling that I pulled off here, flipped it around because I needed six inches. I had nothing that was six inches that was as thin as this trim. Uh, this trim here, what I use for trim is actually almost like paper thin, but it doesn't matter because you don't see it. Uh, these are the same boards that I used for the, uh, they're the beadboard planks. Uh, it's real wood, real pine. It's pine or spruce, not sure. Extremely thin, uh, but I just reused that and I'm going to use that for my trim. And it doesn't look like much now, but I'm going to come back and I'm going to caulk all the seams. Uh, I'm going to prime and paint everything in white. Around the windows, I came back and I used this, uh, I called it the square. Uh, it's like a quarter round. It's what used to be a round. It's what they used as a quarter round all around here. And it was also some left over from the kitchen. Uh, I call it the quarter round shoe mold. It's more like rectangular shape, but I came back and I had just enough to fill in all these openings. So I got all the windows trimmed out. Uh, same with down here. All the windows are trimmed out. So all the lumber is back. I just need to come back and do, uh, of course, there's a lot of knot holes and stuff. So I did a little bit of filling. I'm still doing a little bit of filling on this piece. I'm going to fill, sand, same with all the trim, caulk, fill, sand, prime, and paint in white. And I think once all this white trim is in here, uh, the crisp, the crisp whiteness of the trim is going to look good. Now over here, of course, I have to do a lot of, a little bit of cheating, if you want to call it that. Uh, over here, of course, see, more of the window is covered up. Like ideally, this track would be way back here somewhere. But in the, if you, if you watch the first video, they had, because the window was further this way, they literally had the window come all the way here and there was no trim. So I like things to be kind of symmetrical, although my gap here is obviously way smaller than my gap here. But you know, people will only notice that after you point it out. <laughs> What was bothering me is that there was no trim here. So I put a full, uh, whatever this stuff is here. This stuff, I think, is three inches. So I put a full piece here, 
Then I put my shoe mold that I tucked in here and I left a nice reveal. So there's going to be lots of lumber here. It'll be all crisp and white. You'll never know in the, in the end. Same with down here. Just reuse my scraps. Uh, I think this was, this was an old board. Might even have been a deck board at some times. At some time, I just sliced it, threw it in. As long as the corners match up, I'm going to cock these seams. Once it's painted, you'll never know the difference. Everything is concealed. Now over here, this was the most problematic. And that's because this window, phew, if you remember the previous video, this window goes downhill. And I did not want to, I did not want to pull the window out and I did not. I left the window. The window is crooked as heck. I didn't put it in, but I did leave it. So what I did is I came back and I put the trim level. It's not a hundred percent level. It's slightly off kilter leaning this way, but you can tell that this gap here is much smaller than this one. It's pretty evident, but I'm hoping and thinking that maybe once all the trim is white, it might blend in more with this plastic of the window. And uh, anyway, whatever result comes of it, that's what I'm going to live with. I did not want to take the window out. I didn't want to do it. It's a big window and uh, I just wasn't going to do it. I'm going to live with it. At least now I've got nice trim all around and the trim is level. I've also reinstalled the trim around this door. Of course, it needs to be caulked, filled, nail hole filled, repainted, but it's coming along. It's coming along. Once I get this done, uh, I'm going to get this done today. I'm going to do a little bit of a cleanup. And then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with this floor. I've already pulled out the old laminate. I did not like the laminate. It was way too thick and it stood proud of the hundred year old hardwood. So I don't know if I'm, what I'm going to do, if I'm going to paint this, if I'm going to laminate tile. I had an idea of maybe pulling up this wood that's in the dining room. This wood was added much later. It is an engineered hardwood and they put it over the existing now I know why, and it's because there is somewhat of a trap door cut under here. Kind of lines up almost with the dining room table. And I think, I'm not 100% sure, this would have happened long before I came, but I think at one time somebody cut a hole in this area. And I'm thinking that's how they access the basement because half the basement has been uh, excavated to make it deeper. So half my basement is like six and a half foot and the other half is seven and a half foot. So I'm thinking they may have been done this by hand with pick and shovel and buckets and they may have hauled the buckets out through here. It's the only thing I can think of. Uh, so there is an access here and I think they hacked up the hardwood when they did it. So their solution was just to throw this engineered wood on top. So this could be repurposed. I could, uh, I'm thinking about because like everything else in this house, there's really not a lot of nails anywhere. I can literally pull these out. I'm not sure. I think there's just a bit of adhesive or maybe a nail here and there. Uh, I pull these three little pieces off here. Like I just grabbed them with the edge of my fingernails and pop them off. So I may repurpose some of this, maybe slice it narrow to mimic the old wood. It's, the tones aren't too far off. Certainly better than the old laminate floor that they had in there. I may repurpose this. Uh, also, I may use these laminate tiles, same as my kitchen. Not really my number one choice, but I do have them. And another idea that I'm messing with is that I have a, if you watched my, it's either my very first video when I started this renovation three or four months ago. Uh, when I started my kitchen renovation, I was rummaging up um, in the loft of my garage and I found a large piece of linoleum. Uh, it's pretty beat up, but it's, it's, it's interesting stuff. It's a hundred years old. If I could, uh, salvage that, I may be interested in laying this because it's a large sheet, but it's, it's very damaged. So maybe this little five by eight area, maybe I'd be able to salvage a piece of linoleum that could fit here. It's kind of in the back of my mind. I'm not sure if it's even possible, um, but it's a maybe. 
so that's 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 for later in this video. I'm gonna call this one. Uh, this is gonna be part six, and I'm gonna make this the last video. Uh, so more to follow on this flooring decision. That's all for now. Okay, so it's a couple days later. I have the uh, sun porch uh, completed. So this is my final result. And this is showing the vaulted ceiling part, all finished, painted, trimmed. Um, pretty happy with it. Nice and high. This is my light fixture. I hope it doesn't blind you too much. That just shows the height. Uh, it's a pretty good result. That corner there is probably, that's going to be 10 feet tall up in that corner. So really opened it up. Happy with it. I've got all the, uh, uh, all the bead board is now painted. So I, what I ended up doing is uh, I just did three coats of the high quality primer and it gives it uh, a nice opaque finish but it's not too glossy it's just uh, you know nice and bright I've trimmed out all the windows I've got those painted in semi-gloss white so I'm happy with that got everything trimmed out just kind of use what I had these boards I think I mentioned this before this exact same boards as that went up here so turned out well I did make a decision on my flooring. I was bouncing around between a few different ideas and I ended up repurposing the old linoleum floor. So again, um, I do have a video on this. I, I showed this uh, originally when I first started my channel about four months ago when I was rummaging up in the loft this is when I discovered this old piece of uh, oil cloth. Um, I did a separate video on this showing how I rescue it. That's a couple of videos back or maybe one video back. Uh, show where me and my daughter pull this out of the loft and um, take it down, clean it, install it, rub it some more and then we, um, we waxed it. This is the finished product. This is my little room. This was an in-between project because uh, because of the whole pandemic thing and Ikea was shut down. I was at a standstill with my, my kitchen reno. I decided to jump into here. I had everything, just about everything I needed for this. Um, this little room worked out well. Of course, people are telling me now that my maritime themed um, Peggy's Cove painting does not suit this room anymore. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap this painting out with this one. So this will be, this will hang in there. This will be the house on Pleasant Street. It's an old yellow house. Uh, I really love this painting. This painting uh, was done by my mother many years ago and she didn't think anything of it I thought it was a really nice painting so I will take this I will move it over to the to this wall over here and I will put the Peggy's Cove lighthouse I will put that on the fireplace mantle so this is gonna wrap up the last part this is part six uh, vaulting of my ceiling of my sunroom this was a good little project and I'm happy with the results. Nice and bright, nice and open. Looks a little vintage, although we got a lot of modern materials. We we're able to repurpose this uh, 100, 100 year old uh, piece of flooring. Another good thing about this is that it's very thin. So I'll just be able to put a transition strip here and you won't have that big step up like you did with that, that old thick um, laminate floor okay so the channel is house on pleasant street thanks for watching and catch you on the next project